Well, hey everybody, welcome to a special edition of I really hope the hell we can get across it. Well, <laughs> I can hear it roaring down it, there. It is roaring. So what we're doing today is we are going out to find, hopefully, a cellar hole. Oh, no way. Near a... What the heck was going on here? I know. Other cellar hole we went to years ago that was loaded. But we know for a fact we have to get across a river. And we're parked quite a distance from it, and we can hear it, which is not good. Right. So, I'm going to pack up our gear, and we're going to start walking. So, stay tuned. All right, so we're walking and you just eyeballed. Pottery. In the old cart path. That's a nice way to start, huh? It is. Any uh, copper floating around or? Jeez, yeah. man, we... A surface find? Can that trigger the 30 second curse? Woof. <laughs> <laughs> this is one of those rivers that it can either be a trickle and six feet across or it can be absolutely massive and running heavily. Well, looking pretty wide. And the problem is we need to get over there and there is no other way without, you know, miles and miles of walking. That might be the tightest uh, little flume for us to get across. That's a no-go. So we're going to have to head down the river even further. Interesting cart path. Oh yeah. My turn, this ought to be fun with camera and machine. There you go. Thank you. Yep. The SD Circus. We should make a show out of this. Right. <laughs> Where'd you go from here? Around. Huh. Reach around. Oh, he'll reach around to the beavers backup stuff yeah this is worse so very interestingly behind dame which i will not show it because there are smart people out there was a colonial remains of a bridge and right behind Wainos, rock shouldered whoosh, turn around heading up that is a reinforcement sign for why we're going over here because people were well let's follow it and see where it goes oh yeah that is a nice little build over here. All right, well, quite a ways in. We are reaching wall, very shabby big rock wall. Starting to look like something up here. Oh yeah, there's rocks and everything. Wow, he planted himself right on the brook. Oh, no way. 
What? Oh, it was peaking at 83, but it's now down to 55. It, well, doesn't matter. <laughs> There's one crusty nail. Well, that's good. Yep. Shouldn't be nails miles out in the middle of nothing. Right. And Wainos, what'd you just do? Big wedge. Huh. I don't know if that's a good sign or not. I don't know. So that's what you were hearing? That was on the surface, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's why it rang up at 83. Uh huh. Uh huh. With all the runoff here, I mean, anything could be really sitting on the surface. You can see the way the water channels. Yeah, when it probably was really high. Yep. Big bolt? Yep. Yep, big square headed bolt. I can see the threads. Huh. And Dame just dug up a massive pile of sheet metal. It's sounding and feeling like the 1800s out here, which is peculiar for the depth. It's definitely dug out and it's rock lined yeah. here, and you're definitely on a stack. Right. That, I mean, the stuff coming out of the ground is almost industrial. Yeah. I want to see what's hanging in the sidewall here. Wow. That is a nut. Whoa. Dame, you heard him say something about industrial stuff. Look at the size of that nut. And that was six inches inside the sidewall of what we're presuming is a cellar. Foot down. There's a big piece of iron. A foot down? Yeah. I'm gonna have to excavate a little bit. Wow, that is deep. Well, I was curious about this trench he's got. Yep. That's, I, I wanna see if it splits off the stream and channels this way. I mean, it could be four feet long. Right. But it is a big piece of scrap iron. Oh yeah. Mm. Oh, there's mine. <sighs> what is that, leaf spring? Looks like a leaf spring. What the heck was going on here? I know. Well, it's a shotgun shell. No surprise, and even if somebody was out here uh, in the 1900s, logging or whatever, you can't really tell with this stuff because it's everywhere, as you know. More heavy iron? Yeah, I guess it's hip to be rect rectangle. <laughs> What's going on in the hole? That's a head. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow, that's cool looking. Yeah. It's uh, definitely getting a mid 1800s feel off this place. Well, they could have had a logging operation out here and yeah. back then it took a while so they had to set up cabins. Yep. Huh. Weird. That's a cool find though. Yeah, it's an actual thing. You find the, uh, yeah, the missing link of the puzzle of what was going on out here. Yeah, under this tree. <laughs> Crazy how much heavy iron there is. Oh, I know. It's very texturous land, too. Yeah, it's not good, by any means. <laughs> no idea, not completely solid, but very thick and heavy. Tubular. You know what I find strange is with all the metal, heavy, heavy iron, tools, no personal items. None. No snap buttons, suspenders, coins spoons so we're doing what we can at the pit Wainos is up swinging on a little uh, iron bed that Dame found could have been a shed but other than that a hole in the ground next to a stream with lots of heavy metal in the ground yeah it's got to be an old logging site right well, Dame and I are thinking, let's head back to the river, scan around where the bridge landed on the other side, and right. 
If that doesn't provide anything, we'll go hit that hole that you and I hit three years ago. Oh, right. For the hell of it. Right, why not? And if not, we'll go home. So, although we didn't find anything too interesting in the ground, definitely an interesting sight and glad we made the trip. So now we're going to head back that way and head for the river. All right, we have made it to the river crossing. Remember, this is short now right here. Iron ring. Yep. Probably popped off a wagon. Probably. Seriously, to cross the river at the bridge right there, they would have had to get up. A hell of a running start to get back up the hill. Oh yeah, we got a long jump. Huh. Good. Well, what a day already. What a trek that was. So, crossed the river, went, went, went. I'm going to stop at this cellar that Wayne and I were here a few years ago. Had a hard time finding a few things, but it's the end of the day. Who cares? I think it's a sewing button. Mission accomplished. I actually got a button. Nice. Yeah. Buenos, well, you and I killed this place. Beautiful. Huh. Still going 84. Woof. Oh, no, it's not a nail. Nice. What's left of it, but nice. There's some colonial for you. It's uh, what's left of a two-prong fork. It rang up good, because it was deep. But I'll take that any day. Nice. Tom back almost on the surface. Tom back on the surface? Yep. Beautiful. I thought it was going to be ammo, but it was an inch under the dirt. All right, checking in with Wainos in the barn. Yep. Well, first, I got this piece in the same hole as my current target. Almost looks like a piece of a shoe buckle. Yeah. Huh. Undeclared, but anyway, I got this one. Nice. Nice little flatty. Yeah. Well, it feels good to come back years later. Right. And, and find a few things. Right. Still finding stuff. And I mean, we tore this up too. It was tough. Yeah. It was it tough. Was. We found a couple buttons and spoon pieces yep. in the hole. Right. So this is good. Definitely. Especially after the, you know, trek over there. <laughs> oh yeah, crossing the Mayflower. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh, beautiful. Draw pull knob. Nice. Huh? Draw pull knob. Nice. Wow. Very good. He did, he found a button in the barn. Oh, nice. So, get on it. It's your turn. I'd have a little sugar intake. 
Thank you, Cliff. <laughs> Cliff, uh, Dame saying thank you for the for the sugar intake you sent. We're still going through that care package from a while ago. Awesome. Well, oh, right on the skirts of the barn. Just a crazy signal. I figured I'd dig it. And there we go. A nice hinge. Beautiful. Love this stuff. So what did you get? Oh. It, it's an unidentified thing. Um, I would think it was some sort of modern something, except over there, the rock wall, there's a, the spray of rocks, yeah. that whole front yard, and it was buried under multiple big, big rocks. It does have a tombeck look to it. Huh. Don't know what it is, but it sounded different than everything else. Yeah. Still work in the barn? Oh yeah. Nice little D buckle. A D or a square? Yeah, kind of a mix. Duh. <laughs> yeah. All right, I think we're done. Right? He's out of juice. Oh, he's out of juice, huh? Yeah, he's needing some animal. Yeah, must have been the river crossing. Well, yeah, it was something else. <laughs> All right. Well, that was a victory finding things here. Right. Indeed. Definitely. Yeah. Today Let's... is actually a day to remember. That was that was quite the trip. I mean, we catch what we can on video, but we put some miles in. Yeah, just what's a texture? Yeah, it, it kind of makes you wonder why the heck would somebody put a place there? A lot of uppy downs. I think somebody landed out there to log. Mm -hmm. They picked the worst spot they possibly could. <laughs> did their job for however long it took. Didn't lose anything except tools two, and two wedges. Two wedges. Yeah, two wedges. Then they said, "I'm out of here." But it was still cool and something for us to remember. Now it's time to go home. All right, everybody. Stay young. Always keep them guessing. Get out and dig something and have fun. Live free or die, folks.